Hey everybody, welcome back to JM Farm and Cattle. So on today's video, we are going to, well, I am going to show you the rest of the camper. We are finally done with the camper and I'm so excited. Uh, I guess the only thing we have left to do is put the two springs on. Uh, they didn't have them in stock, so they had to order them in. No big deal. Uh, however, all the inside is completely done and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what it looks like now. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put uh, drop some photos in from before we started. Uh, some of the pictures are not my pictures and uh, they were on the website, but it's the same camper. We did not get very good photos of the camper when we first got it and we already started painting it and that's when we realized that we're gonna redo the whole thing so I'm gonna show you what it is now I'll put some before and after pictures in and you can see what it went from or what it was to what it is now uh, if you got any questions on anything let me know down in the comment section below but with that let's get to it Okay, so now that you've seen it, uh, if you've seen my other two videos, uh, part one and part two, I kind of went over everything. But uh, so here's our flooring. This is vinyl flooring. And then we did uh, kind of a gray carpet. And this is what I was talking about that I had to get sewed uh, on my last video. Because that's where the slide is. That's where the slide in comes in right here. So this is the overlap just to, to hide the transition. So we had to have that sewed on right there professionally. Uh, we got our couch in. Now that is a, it's actually a futon. So it will go to a bed. Here is the bunk. Then now this bunk was in here before. Uh, the only difference is we rewrapped it. My mom rewrapped it. Uh, and then we painted the countertops and did like a countertop covering kind of got a texture to it we just went with curtains and curtain rods instead of the drop down shades uh, we did gray cabinets white walls these chairs were rewrapped as well uh, the fridge and all these cabinets were completely just wood grain. We painted everything. Uh, again, we did gray cabinets, black fridge uh, to match the black microwave, painted the fan black. And then this whole thing right here was completely rebuilt. It used to come out right here. And we wanted more floor space, more room, more everything. So we shoved it all against the wall. Uh, we rebuilt the countertop. This countertop again is plywood with a crown molding edge. And then it, my mom did, my mom's a faux painter. So she has all the abilities to do countertops and everything. So she did a countertop finish on it. We put a bar sink in, uh, put a new light down there, rebuilt this cabinet, added a third drawer completely redid all those cabinets up here that fireplace look at that 
So that fireplace right there uh, used to be a speaker box. We got rid of that because the speaker box didn't even work anyways. So we got rid of that. We put a fireplace in, uh, more or less just for looks, but it does heat. Uh, that next shelf has uh, the DVD player, the Bluetooth radio, and then we got our TV here, and then we just did the brick all the way up to my kind of make one transition. It's pretty much everything for down here. Uh, we did do. We did can lights. These are 110 can lights. These are 12 volt can lights. So we, we got rid of the old lights and we put all new can lights in. Just flush mount, smooth. They're way brighter. They look way better. Uh, we added a switch for these. Before they had just a big bulb here and then you'd have to poke the button on the lamp and we didn't like that. These are all on one switch. Those two lights we moved to a switch up there. Uh, we added the light above the sink with the switch hidden up here. Got the few tools out. Got the backsplash on. Then we go upstairs and we made the transition to white with light gray walls. You can kind of tell the gray. Uh, these lights are can lights as well. And we moved them to this switch instead of switching on up here. Everything's now on wall switches. Uh, we like that way better. White countertops, white cabinets, redid all the carping. The only thing that we're gonna do up here is we're just gonna throw down a mattress. We're gonna put it sideways, it'll be a queen. Uh, before it just had a full or a twin, I think it was a full actually. Had a full in it and we didn't care for that at all. It's just too small. So we don't have our mattress in here yet. That's one thing we just gotta throw in yet. white doors so then for the bathroom this was a job but we got it done full walls so we put tile flooring down on the bottom and then we got rid of the sit down bathtub that was in here and we put a shower pan and then we put tile for the walls as well we did chrome just to make everything match well. Uh, it's just a shower nozzle head. That was already there. The fan was already there. White curtain. So we didn't do a whole lot in here, but the biggest thing is we got rid of the tub that you couldn't even, I mean, the tub stopped right here and then this was like a little bench. And you can kind of tell in the pictures, but it. It was horrible. You can't even shower in here. Now we'll have the ability to stand in there a little bit more room for such a small bathroom anyways.
So we really like how everything turned out. Uh, I mean, it turned out better than what we ever thought that was going to. At the same time, we also did way more than we thought we were going to, but uh, once we started, we just, we didn't want to stop. We just wanted to keep going. But this is, this is the camper. Uh, all we gotta do is just clean up and put everything back because we had to empty all the cabinets and drawers and everything when we redid it. But this is, this is it. We're finally done, we're ready to go camping. Uh, I, probably the first place we're gonna go is on Memorial Weekend. By the time we get planting done and uh, the field work done, we won't be able to go out before then. But we are done. Uh, if you got any questions on what we did on anything, again, just comment down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing this. It took a little longer anticipated, but we didn't work at it full time. Uh, it was just kind of like a couple hour here, couple hour there thing. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it or what you would have done different. Just curious to know on other people's thoughts. So, With that being said, I'm gonna show one more look around so you guys can get a good look at everything. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, next week, actually this week, uh, we're gonna start planting corn. So we're gonna look for a video Thursday. There'll be a video of us starting corn. Not sure how it's gonna go. We got rain again this week, so we're gonna try and do some before it rains. So be on the lookout for that video. Make sure and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And we'll see you guys next time on JM Farming Cattle. Thanks for watching.